Guys, welcome back. It is Racer X, and today I'm actually back with my good buddies here at Clay Cooley Dodge Jeep Chrysler Ram in Irving, Texas, because I uh, I want to talk about a subject many of you guys have asked me about just multiple times over my YouTube journey, and it has been, look, Racer X, uh, is there really a difference between a scat pack and an SRT? We're talking about the 392 cars. So today, I will tell you what the differences are. Is a scat pack really an SRT? I will give you my thoughts on that because a lot of people are just really curious about it. Also guys, if you are new to my channel, do me a big gigantic favor. Uh, right down there at the bottom, there's a subscribe button. I need you to hit that subscribe because I've got a ton of amazing content coming to you this year. It's going to be a blast. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. If you hit the notification bell, you'll get more great content and you'll know when I put a video out. So here we go. <laughs> we got the thousand horsepower helmet. As you can see behind me, I've got a couple of different challengers and they look basically identical. When you look at the two of them, see when you're going down the road, you really can't tell a difference. So right here, this black car, that is a scat pack. And of course, right over here, this F8 green car, beautiful car, that is a uh, SRT 392. So one is technically an SRT and the other is not. So what are the big differences between these two cars? Now, really, in order to understand this question, you kind of have to understand the whole reason that Dodge brought out the Scat Pack in the first place. And we've seen this now with Camaro and what they did with the uh, with the LT1. Uh, but, uh, you know, this was before all that. So really what they wanted to do was target that buyer that wanted all the performance that the 6.4 Hemi offers, but didn't necessarily want to pay the SRT money because you could get a Scat Pack kind of stripped out, uh, didn't necessarily have to have the bigger brakes and some of the other things you get on the SRT, uh, but you could still they'll get a lot of performance and especially a lot of performance for the money. So really that was the whole reason that they came out with the Scat Pack back in the day. And of course, uh, they made the SRTs, both the Charger and the Challenger up until the 2018 model year. After that, it was all only Scat Pack. So let's talk a little bit more about the differences between these two. So as we look under the hood of both of these two vehicles, you can see they both feature the 392 Hemi. This is the larger of the two naturally aspirated Hemis, and they, uh, under the hood, I mean, is identical between these two cars, the SRT, and as we jump over here to the Scat Pack, you won't see any differences between uh, these two cars. Both of them put out 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque, but it's all the extra goodies that you get with the SRT that perhaps set it apart. So let's jump into that a little bit. So first of all, you do see the SRT badge in here. So very similar like what you'd find on a Hellcat there. And of course, as you look at the Scat Pack, it most definitely does say RT there. So of course, that is one of the uh, the distinctive characteristics of the, uh, the SRT car. You can see this has the 392 badge on the side. Whereas as you go to the Scat Pack, you will see it's got, of course, the Scat Pack Bumblebee on the side. And uh, look at the brakes on the Scat Pack. I picked this trim for a reason. This actually has the smaller uh, four pistons and uh, brake setup on it. And as we jump over here, this has essentially the exact same brake setup you would find on a Hellcat. It's those big, giant, super powerful six piston Brembos, uh, fantastic braking setup on the SRT. Now, another quick thing, when you jump into this SRT, you can see um, it looks basically identical to a Hellcat in here. There are a couple of very subtle differences, obviously. This just says say, it says SRT on the back, uh, where it doesn't actually have a Hellcat insignia or anything like that. Now, this is a little bit different in the SRT as well. As you can see, kind of the trim pieces in here, a little bit different. Now, in the Scat Pack, you actually cannot get this all-leather seat. It's kind of interesting, but you definitely cannot get an all-leather seat in a Scat Pack, only available in, uh, in the SRT. And of course, the Alcantara you can get, just not this particular particular trim. So uh, very similar on the steering wheel as well, basically just like a Hellcat. And the steering wheel in a Scat Pack actually feels just a little bit different. Another key distinction is the wheels. As you can see, the wheels on the SRT, I mean, they do mention that they are SRTs right there. And of course, the wheels on the Scat Pack, they do make a couple of different versions of the wheels on the Scat Pack. And of course, now, uh, of course, the new cars, uh, you know, they've got the wide bodies and all that kind of stuff. But you can definitely tell a difference between the regular uh, RT wheels and those, that's a 245 Eagle RSA. And then, of course, a lot of the Scat Packs do still come with the 245 RSAs on them. The wide body cars come with 305s. But uh, yeah, Yes, definitely a difference on the wheel. 
So it is also important to note that uh, obviously this did go away in 2018, very last model year they made of the SRT, both Charger and Challenger. And before that point, uh, you really had some options on the Scat Pack um, that you really just, maybe you wanted, but you couldn't get. You could only get those in the SRT. It wasn't until the 2019 model year where a lot of the really cool features that you do get on the SRT were also available to put on the Scat Pack. So um, they really blurred the lines in 2019 and on uh, where you could basically get a scat pack equipped almost exactly the same way as an SRT. Now, as we know, the SRT is essentially, it's basically a Hellcat with a 392 drivetrain in it. Whereas I mentioned before with the Scat Pack, a lot of times you could base those out with the smaller brakes and some of the other features uh, that maybe SRT owner, you know, or somebody in a Scat Pack wouldn't necessarily want to pay for. Now, obviously in the SRT, you're going to get the SRT pages. So you do have your SRT button here. In the normal uh, Scat Pack, it just says drive mode right there and of course uh, that got blurred a lot once the SRT actually went away because you could actually get all of the SRT pages like this on the scat pack if you had uh, you know if you had the uh, the right package on it so another reason that these things are blurred a little bit now in the scat pack you can see it does just say drive modes right here and when you go to uh, what you would think would be the SRT pages obviously these, this is not an SRT this is an older model scat pack so uh, when you look at this you do only get uh, the, the traction and the steering you don't get the transmission or the dynamic suspension modes in this so you do get a couple of settings here just not as many as you would get in the SRT in the SRT you kind of get the full gauntlet of those so another key distinction Another thing that kind of threw a lot of people through a loop, though, is when you actually turn off the ignition in the SRT and uh, you go to exit the vehicle, you can see what it says here. <laughs> It says SRT right there on the screen. So, uh, you know, that I think that really confused a lot of people. Is it a scat pack or is it an SRT? I also do want to point out that the, the gauges in the uh, in the regular Scat Pack, which is what I'm in now, are actually a little bit different than they are in the SRT. Let me jump over to the SRT and show you what those gauges look like. And here's a good illustration of just how different the gauges are in the SRT. Just a completely different look. Uh, the speedometer looks a little bit different in terms of just the way the digital numbers look, all that kind of stuff. So yes, the SRT does have a different looking dash than the Scat Pack does. One other small item of note, obviously in the SRT, you do kind of get that little dash plaque there that says SRT on it, a little bit different than in the Scat Pack as well. Also, even the key fobs look different. As you can see, you got your Scat Pack and your SRT. So uh, another little uh, interesting fact. So in 2019, that's really when everything got super blurred because obviously the SRT car went away and you could outfit a Scat Pack with really all the same goodies you would put uh, on a on an SRT. You could get the dynamic suspension modes, obviously the bigger brakes, um, all that good stuff. I mean, just you could completely deck out a Scat Pack and really put all the same stuff on it. The exception being obviously the couple of trim pieces the SRT had on it. You could not get a Scat Pack with those. The all leather seats, like I mentioned before, uh, simply wasn't an option. But other than that, once SRT went away, Dodge made a point to make sure that you could really get all the goodies you would want uh, on the Scat Pack. It also says SRT, as I mentioned, just right there on the on the digital display in front of you. And uh, it just, you know, but the numbers still looked a little different on the SRT on the dash, as I did mention before as well. So, uh, but from an equipment perspective, performance perspective, uh, the newer cars, you know, they're basically are like an SRT. However, the VIN uh, does not say SRT. It still shows up as a scat pack. So really to sum it all up, it was a lot easier to tell the difference between an SRT um, back when the SRT was actually a thing compared to the Scat Pack, right? A lot of different trim pieces. Um, as I mentioned, it's basically, the SRT is basically a Hellcat with a 392 in it and a 392 drivetrain, whereas the Scat Pack um, just, it really wasn't trimmed out the same up until 2019, of course. Then uh, once the SRT went away, Dodge had to figure out a way uh, to really get all the goodies into the new car. So I mean, there's so many variants of the Scat Pack now, as you know, I've done videos on just how many ways you can equip these scat packs out. So yes, you can still buy a base scat pack, which is great, um, but you can also completely 
completely deck out a scat pack to essentially it's the same as an SRT would have been. That's something that Dodge made a point to do. So that's why you can see such a huge swing in the price of a scat pack anywhere from really 40 grand all the way up to almost 60 grand. It's really amazing just how many options you can throw on these cars. So hopefully that helped to add a little bit of clarity to the question, is an SRT or is a scat pack an SRT technically? Um, no, a, uh, a scat pack is not technically an SRT. On the VIN, it still says a scat pack is an RT. But uh, at any rate, performance wise, they're gonna be about the same. So hopefully guys, hopefully this helped out a little bit to answer this question I get all the time. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And I'll catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.